Part 25 SI. I'm Gus Banks, and I was going to dedicate this uh, video to the clothes of The Simpsons, but instead some new items came in that I thought I'd show you, and I will show you a few of my clothes, and we'll do it for 26. 26 will be all clothes. Uh, but I'm going to start you off with this. I got this in the mail yesterday. This is called Four Finger Music, bluegrass tribute to the music made famous by The Simpsons, and it's kind of nice. I'm going to let you hear track one, which is The Simpsons theme song. And that'll be playing in the background while I talk about the other stuff. We got the new Burger King toys, Ned Flanders, regular colored Homer, and this character you may not recognize, but that's Russ Cargill. Uh, and you can see that he doesn't look anything like he did in the movie. But then this week's TV guide came in and shows you some censor, or not censor, but uh, scenes taken out of the movie. And then in this, you see Russ Cargill as he originally appeared. And that matches this toy. But I guess later they decided that he didn't look right, so they changed him. And you see some other things. Uh, Homer in an Egyptian museum truck throwing uh, lighted mummies. Homer apparently stole a sausage truck. And this is where Marge and Reverend Lovejoy go up to look at the videotape of what was in Homer having a nervous breakdown. And later in the movie it was changed to Grandpa. And then Entertainment Weekly came out with this set of the Simpsons movie with all five family members together. And then when you back away, it makes one complete picture. Let's see. There we go. All right, now here, here are the clothes. I don't display these clothes. I actually wear them. These two shirts came from Hot Topic. This is the famous Pin Pal shirt. And on the back, the logo. Springfield Bowling League. I think Homer's name, yeah. Homer's name is up in the breast there. But this is my favorite shirt. This is the Krusty Burger Worker shirt. And it says you want fries with that. But what makes it nice is you've got the Krusty Burger logo on the back. Welcome to Krusty Burger, may I screw up your order? And a meat flavored sandwich over a dozen sold. And I wore this to the premiere of the movie and got a few comments about it. People asked me where I got it. I actually had to order it online because Hot Topic store near me didn't have it for sale, so I had to go online to get it. So I'll show more clothes in later videos. Um, I've been getting a few comments about these figures here. These are carnival prizes from 1990 by a company called Acme. And what makes them valuable is not so much the rarity, it's the tag. If you get it with the tag, they go for 50 to 70. If you don't have the tag, they're not as expensive. And here is a little Maggie. I was hoping to find a bigger Maggie, but that's the only one I can get so far with the tag. And Lisa's out there. I just haven't found her yet. Uh, this Lisa is from a different company. So I'm going to leave you looking at some Carlton cards that came out in the mid-90s. Just different designs. And I just took up some space on the side of the bookshelf give more Simpsons flair but I want to thank everybody for subscribing and watching this is a Homer talking pin say Homer talking pin what did you think about this video ah, what do you know thanks everybody for watching please continue to watch my name is Gus Banks talk to you later